Hello, this is H.C. Bailey, and welcome back to Let's Play Final Fantasy Legend 3! We've got to find that future unit here in the Castle of Chaos. I mean, it's got to be around here somewhere. Well, it might not be, but... I mean, it wasn't in the last couple areas. Oh, here we go. Oh, these bastards. I really, really, really hate these guys on the left there. Uh, let's see. Those are dual masks. Are they immune to anything? Well, they're immune to elements. Uh, like fire, ice, lightning. So, yeah, those guys are pretty hard. I do not want to use drop on them, actually. Uh, let's see. Low kick is probably my next best thing. And unfortunately, it's not that great. So, we're just going to have to take them out one at a time. Gloria can't help out with them. No, don't confuse her. Oh, oh wait. That's, I think that only puts you to sleep. I don't think that... Or maybe it does confuse you. What does that thing do? Uh, yeah, it does confuse you. Crap. Well, fortunately, it didn't work. So. Oh, well, that wasn't that bad. Huh. Well, still, you gotta watch out for those guys. Uh, because, yeah, we can't just take them out in one shot with Gloria there. This is just gonna be one little bastard of a battle that we gotta deal with. Uh, yeah, let's put the other one to sleep there. Ice there. And low kick on them. Now, as far as using magic in this area goes, it's probably, I think it is the longest area that we've been in so far. So you want to try and conserve your MP as much as possible. Even though we have that elixir, we really don't want to use that. So we want to save that for the boss if we need it. Because the boss is hard! So watch out for that. Okay, we put those two to sleep. Let's take that guy out. Maybe do a, some healing here, whatever. But yeah, the thing is, with this area, uh, with conserving MP, not only is it long, but uh, the boss fight is rather long, too. So you, you really only want to use MP if the monster is weak to that element. Uh, I'll list all the enemies, or the new enemies at least, in this area in the video description there, so you know where it would be appropriate to, to use that there. Let's see, do a little more healing there. Yeah, eventually, uh, Curtis is going to get some offensive potential, but uh, not right now. Uh, let's see. Uh, oh, by the way, with Curtis, as far as transformations go, keep him at his current transformation. But if you get up to level 13 and you find some cyborg parts, go ahead and do that. Because at level 13, then it's probably more so worth it to uh, upgrade Curtis because his uh, agility will still be pretty good at that point. But yeah, watch out for these dual masks. They're real nasty with uh, uh, with their confusion attacks and they're immune to elements, so you can't one-shot them with Gloria there. I mean, look at this. This battle's taking me, like, as long as almost a boss fight there. And let's heal up real quick here. And grab this treasure here. All right, we got a relax potion. Uh, I think that cures uh, paralysis, I think. Ah, whatever. But, oh no! We're trapped here! We can't get back without going down a pit. Whatever shall we do? Just look upward, and then it'll throw you back down like this. And you can jump over the pits like so. Now, you could take those stairs to the next floor. Or you could go through this hidden passage. By the way, uh, that dual mask that we fought earlier, um, I forgot whether I mentioned it or not, but uh, it has an ability called Protection from Change. Hey, hey, all right. We got a uh, different transformation since uh, leveling up. I got up to level 13, made Curtis into a cracker. So now, uh, I, I don't have the remedy talent anymore, unfortunately, but we get W attack, or twin attack, I guess, which is actually a pretty decent attack for, for a cyborg, anyway. So that's pretty nice. Arthur transformed into a Viking, which is, well, it's a decent uh, beast. Uh, not quite as good as the last one I had, but, I mean, it's like a slightly lower attack power but you get better stats otherwise like hp and stuff so uh let's see you got breath uh, i think that per paralyzes a monster uh other talents don't worry about so yeah some decent stuff there man what happened to my encounter rate it's like it's making up for like the the first couple areas where i was way behind Oh yeah, I, I almost forgot. Uh, I lost my train of thought there. I was talking about Dual Mask a moment ago. Um, with the protection from change ability, 
it doesn't work like it did in the previous two games. Uh, protection from change in this game is like protection from damage. It's protection from the four basic elements. Use the chaos key here to get up to the upper level of the castle of chaos. But yeah, protection from change is the same as protection from fire, ice, tornado, and quake. So that's pretty nice. For us, not for our enemies. But uh, uh, protection from damage in this game is like protection from weapon in the previous games. It cuts all physical or melee weapon damage in half. And here we get the psychic armor. Yes, we want to get back to Curtis to boost his agility there. Let's see, we've got 39 there. 44, not bad, not bad. That'll be pretty good for uh, the boss here. And we need that on Curtis there. Uh, by the way, just so you know, uh, protection from all is just protection from the four, or the eight status ailments. Not, uh, not, uh, what is this? Uh, not the uh, elements like it was in the previous game. Let's see, we got some new enemies here. Oh, by the way, Hypnosis is the same as a sleep spell. Knife is actually like a physical attack that can inflict sleep as well. And why not show off uh, some other stuff there. Got some other new enemies here. The two on the left there. Uh, what is it? Horus? Yeah, just like the beast I had a moment ago. They are weak to tornado elemental attacks. So, you know, you want to use tornado elemental stuff on them. That will not stop my drop on you! That only stops my spells, which a uh, robot can't use at all. How ironic. Yeah, it doesn't work like Silence in Final Fantasy 1, where it protects you from monster attacks. It only stops spells in this game. Ooh, we got Beast Meat. Do I tr dare to try it? Let's save state, just in case I get something really bad. A wizard? What is that? Is that better or worse? Eh, it's about the same. Eh, I'd rather keep what I had before. Yeah, I know, I cheated there. Sue me, viewers! Let's go down here first. Er, well, second, I guess. And get a soft potion. You can never have enough of those. I don't like getting stoned. That's just me. Let's see, let's head on up here. Oh, by the way, another thing I wanted to mention about uh, my stats for sharing there. I'm not going to uh, max out uh, Sharon's stats or, or go beyond what would be like normal maximum, like 999 for HP. Hey, hey, I got another transformation for Arthur there. I think that one's a pretty useful one if I recall correctly. Uh, let's see. Yeah, we get a little more attack power out of it. Nightmare. All right. And, uh, well, we still have Hypnosis, so instead of Breath, we get Hypnosis. That can put your enemies to sleep. I think even Curtis has that one, yeah. So that's pretty nice there, all right. Wow, I am just really getting the good transformations lately. Oh, and by the way, I was, just to finish off what I was saying about Sharon there, I'm not going to uh, adjust her basic stats beyond 99 either. Uh, you know, just to keep it a little interesting, you know? Put a little, leave a little challenge in this game because uh, robots are already obscene enough as it is. Let's equip that fire shield there on Curtis. Another nice thing about it, gives you protection from ice, so that's pretty nice. Hey, that rhymed. <laughs> Let's see, yeah, unfortunately now I have to heal the old fashioned way. I have to actually consume MP to heal. Oh no. Well, now we've got a horse leading our party. I don't have any coconuts though, to, you know, make any noises. Eh, it's okay. You know what I wish, viewers? I wish that I could undo confusion by whacking the guy upside the head like other video games. Well, not Dragon Warrior 3, but other than that. Yeah, confusion is a real bastard status ailment in that game, but that's okay. All right, we found Chaos at last. Can we defeat him and stop him from creating a never-ending time unit or time loop with the future unit? Find out next time on Let's Play Final Fantasy Legend 3! This is H.C. Bailey, signing off. Have a good day!